In this video, I'll show you how you can use brake clean to find vacuum leaks. This vehicle is a 2001 Cadillac DeVille, and the check engine light came on with fuel trim codes lean on both bank one and bank two. Now what that means is the ECM, the engine control module, has detected a lean condition. Lean condition means too much air, not enough fuel. The engine is running lean. Rich is the other way around. Too much fuel, not enough air. Usually when an engine runs lean, it means there is a vacuum leak somewhere. This vehicle has 75,000 miles. It appears to run just fine. There are no drivability issues, there are no misfires, no hesitations, there's nothing wrong with the engine. But it does set a P0171 and a P0174 diagnostic trouble code, which is fuel trim lean bank one and fuel trim lean bank two. The owner of the vehicle took it to an auto parts store and they told him that he needed a mass airflow sensor. So I went ahead and ordered the sensor for him put it on the vehicle and cleared the code. But after I started it up, I checked the fuel trim levels and they were still reading very high, as you'll be able to see here. This is the short-term fuel trim, which is STFT, and long-term fuel trim, which is LTFT. And as you can see, we're reading way high. These shouldn't be any more than 10. So when you suspect that you have a vacuum leak somewhere, the first thing to do is to listen for obvious leaks, like this here. You can hear that vacuum leak. That's the first thing to do. Now I looked around underneath the cover here that goes over the intake and I really didn't see anything obvious, but I kept hearing a hissing sound. I don't know how well you can hear it on the video. But you can tell there's definitely a hissing sound there that shouldn't be there. But I couldn't find it. I checked all the vacuum lines. I would kink vacuum lines like this to try to get rid of it, thinking that maybe a booster was leaking. And I could never get it to go away. But because the vacuum leak is so big, the readings don't even change if I adjust it, like so. If it was a small vacuum leak, those readings would change and you could wiggle vacuum lines around while watching your data over here on the scan tool to see if it changes. But that wasn't the case with this. So I got some brake clean. This is just cheap brake parts cleaner that you can get from any auto parts store. This brand in particular came from ParQuest. What this is, this is a fluid. It's a high alcohol content fluid designed to clean brake parts or anything oily after repairs. It dissolves the oil and cleans stuff up really well. It's also flammable and can burn in the engine safely. The reason you use brake clean is because it's flammable and it acts as a fuel, which when it finds the intake leak or vacuum leak, it'll cause the fuel trim levels to change. Observe the readings on the scan tool while I spray this brake clean around the intake. They're changing, they're going down because the brake clean is serving as fuel to the engine to make up for the extra air that is leaking past the throttle body. Now the way I found this vacuum leak in particular was by sound. I started spraying around the intake listening for sounds and watching the scan tool. So I sprayed around the vacuum lines, sprayed everywhere I could think that this could be leaking. And then when I got around the throttle body, right here in between the plate and the intake manifold, There's our leak. It's in between the intake manifold and the throttle body plate bracket, right there. I'll let you watch the scan tool readings one more time. The other thing too is you'll see smoke coming from the tailpipe. It's not very easy to see, but you can definitely smell the change in the exhaust fumes and every once in a while, you'll see a puff of smoke. 
So this is a perfect example of why it's important to do some diagnosing before throwing parts at the vehicle. Fortunately, the part wasn't that expensive, but I still would have much rather just diagnosed the vehicle before I bought a part and threw it at the car, even though it wasn't actually me who did the diagnosing. So now the intake manifold has to be removed and the leak has to be replaced. It's probably a bad seal in there that is leaking or something that has come loose. I'm not going to be doing the work on this one, mainly because I just don't have the time at the moment. But I wanted to show you guys the brake clean there and how it can really help you find vacuum leaks on your engine. So if your check engine light comes on and you have two lean codes, pick yourself up some brake clean, grab a scan tool for about $100, and you can probably find it all by yourself.